what is up guys, Boris here coming to you guys with another video for Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Now, my whole group has been playing this game. It's, it's just very, very fun and I've decided to bring you guys some tips on how to get free crystals really, really quickly. Now, this game is pretty good about giving out crystals, I'm not gonna lie. It, it seems to be very, very free to play friendly. But this video is primarily for those guys who want to figure out how to speed up the process, if you know what I'm saying. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about, as you're seeing right here, is if you're going to reroll, you should always try to clear the entire story chapter one because you get 10,000 free crystals once you clear story chapter one. So some people might be tempted to quit out of the reroll as soon as you halfway through once you're actually able to go back to the main menu but do this chapter story one it's worth it you get two free multi which is pretty good so most again most of you guys who are already playing the game you already know about this but for this is primarily for anyone interested who wants to get into the game now the reason i say this is because two multis is really really amazing in this game due to the fact that every single multi is guaranteed a gold item which is pretty crazy when you compare it to all the other games that I've played in the past normally the rates for them are pretty low and so you have to it take you about two to three multi just to get one in this case you get one per so as, as long as you pick one character you want to focus on then you can try to pull multiple times for their items and once you pull four items uh, then you're gonna be good to go because then you can fully limit break it you don't even necessarily have to pull all four because of the fact that there's other systems in way to multi limit break characters but again, I'm going to not focus too much on that in this video. This is going to be mainly about fast way to get crystals, and we're going to talk about the ways to get those really quickly. I just wanted to mention this because, again, the 10k free crystals is really important. As you can see right here, just take out the behemoth, and you'll be instantly able to go uh, and get those. Now, you can actually skip a few stages. You can skip a lot, but you can skip a few stages in the, in the first one if you just go on and go straight for it. And as you see here, once you clear it, you're going to get uh, the free 10k. And I also want to note that if you didn't know, if you complete, now not just clear, you have to complete a hard mode of any stage, you also get another 10k. Oh, sorry, you get a 1k, a 1k, you get 1k, um, not 10k. But yeah, if you manage to complete a uh, hard mode on any of these, you get 1k per. So if there's five stages right now at the moment, uh, each one gives a thousand, you get 5,000 free. That's another small thing that I want to keep, in, that you guys want to keep in mind for later. But that's not really a fast way, that's just a slow way to get a crystal. So see that we collected our 10k. So what do we do from here? If you just want to go and do some more pools after you spend those 10k, well I'm going to show you guys the, a really fast way to level up. The first one is the World of Illusions as you see right here. And the other one is the Daily Events. Now the th reason that I'm saying that you want to level up fast is because that's how you can actually get a lot of crystals. So every time you rank up you get a hundred crystals and the way you rank up is by leveling up any of your characters 10 times so 10 total levels between all of your characters a lot of people don't know this still but you rank up every time you get 10 more levels on across all your characters so the more you level up the more crystals you get it's really awesome and there's fast ways to level up now as you saw the world of illusions is a great place to level up uh, either doing the 10 stamina or the 20 stamina but unfortunately right at the beginning you don't have enough stamina you only have four stamina because that's equal to your rank so you actually want to level up to be able to do that which actually will level up even faster now you see here we have book of training that you can use to double the amount of exp you get and you can also buy the book of training if you run out for a hundred crystal which is pretty cheap considering you're gonna get at least that back from leveling up a few characters but if you don't want to waste it uh, on that you should at least get two from doing chapter one so I'm gonna just give you guys an example of how much exp you can get so I went ahead and pop one here, and we're going to go ahead and do the 10 stamina daily mission. Now, obviously, the higher stamina you go, the, the more EXP you get. Um, if you are an endgame player, you can still use this strategy, go into 50 stamina, bring uh, maybe one or two carries, and then put uh, someone you want to level up at the bottom, pop an EXP book, and they're going to power level incredibly quickly. Uh, I think you can go maybe from like level 1 to 20 right off the bat in one run. And uh, I went ahead and switched summon as well. Uh, summon is just something that if you guys aren't using summons, highly recommend you use them. Really nice for stalling. But here we go. So this is just a simple 
a 10 stamina run and I brought a friend cap a friend uh, I'm not too sure what they're called but I brought a friend along um, you can use the friend tap on the friend and it will replace any of your units uh, and this is a nice way to overcompensate for the fact that you're very low level at, the, at this moment so you see here we went ahead and I'm gonna show you just how much this is 10 stamina remember this is the lowest of the of the five levels so look at that Look at all those levels. We just got a crap ton of levels, which is pretty sick. Um, and that's just one run. And again, we popped the book for 30 minutes, so you keep doing that. If you can do 20 stamina, do 20 stamina. If you can do 30 stamina, and so on and so forth. So you see, we just ranked up actually not just once, but twice. So just in the two minutes, we got 200 crystals for leveling up like that, um, which is really awesome. Once you hit rank 10, you can actually go and do the 10 stamina world of illusions as well and that you can run as many times as you want as long as you have the stamina whereas these unfortunately the daily missions you can only run 10 times per now once you've ran you could actually go ahead and like i said and swap out um maybe one of you guys for another level one and keep doing it now this strategy eventually you're going to run out of characters to level up so you will want to go back into story mode and continue to farm for new characters uh, because they will start at level 1. You can also do the events right now. It's really easy to get uh, Vanille and uh, Cloud. Not Cloud, sorry. Uh, uh, Leon, so... Squall. You'll be able to do uh, get both of those guys um, and go ahead and use them at level 1 and level them up. So, that's another thing to keep in mind. Anytime a new character release, we're going to get more crystals because you can level them up, increase your rank, and get more crystals that way. So, I think the level cap right now is 50. That means... If you get a character from level 1 to level 50, that's uh, 500 free crystals, which is really awesome. Now, the last thing I want to mention is, this is another really, really quick way to get uh, crystals in the beginning, is that you can actually do co-op. And every time you do co-op with a new person, you're going to get crystals, which is really awesome. There's a limit to how much you can get overall, but this is a really, again, you want to get a quick multi in, just do this, do a lot of runs, and you should be good to go. So... You might say, well, it, I'm only level 14. My is only level 14. Isn't this too low? It's not. The actual, the 40 stamina co-op is actually very, fairly easy to complete. You just need to bring in, I'd say as long as your, your partners are in the 40 to 50 range, it should be a breeze uh, because this really is not that difficult. And again, I just put uh, open lobby so that anyone can join. And as you see, we have uh, two level 40s, nothing too crazy, level 40, level 44. They're not top tier characters like Cloud, like Squall. You know, they're not Va Vaughn, I guess. People are mad I was saying, calling Van, but they're not, you know. These are Tifa and, uh, or Tifa and, um, I believe the other one's Cecil. Cecil, I'm not sure how you say it. So, you know, not top tier, but still, it's going to be pretty easy. Um, the Behemoth, when you get to Behemoth, just pop your summon when you get a chance. Everyone pops your summon, should be really easy to do. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just, he's actually pretty nice because his fire attack is a really good bravery. Uh, attack and break uh, pretty easily, uh, break the opponent really easily, so really nice. Uh, even though I'm only level 14, I'm holding in there, you know, I, I am moved dead, but really easy for your friends to carry. And like I said, every time you play with a new person, you're going to get new amounts of crystals, and I'll, I'll show you here in a little bit what I mean. So, to wrap everything up, guys, to summarize everything, make sure to get the 10,000 gems if you're re-rolling. Once you got an account that you like, Make sure to power level your characters. Um, that's going to be the fastest way to get that stamina for World of Illusions. It's going to be the fastest way to get crystals. Uh, and overall, it's just going to be the fastest way to get those characters in a usable form. Because at, at this point, almost every character is good. Because this is a fairly uh, new game. So no one's really power crept at the moment. You can use a lot of the characters. So I've been sort of trying to level up everyone on my main account. Uh, because I really, I'm interested in checking out all the characters and seeing what they can do. Now, like I said, once you've gotten enough stamina to the World of Illusions, that you can just do it over and over again. And keep in mind, guys, every time you rank up, your World of Illusions stamina refills. So, potentially, you could go and loop your stamina on World of Illusions over and over and over again uh, for, for a good amount of time, especially when you pop the EXP book. So, that's another thing to keep in mind. As you see here, because I did co-op with two players, we get some more uh, crystal, which is awesome. Really awesome. And because I hosted as well, I got the clear crystal, so... Keep that in mind. If you host, you're able to get the clear crystals. Um, and other than that, I'm pretty pretty sure that clears um, that clears up everything. Just remember, um, you know, this is obviously a great way to do it. But of course, you can go through story mode. And then, again, when you complete, um, which means clear every stage, uh, clear all the objectives on a stage of the hard mode of the story mode, you get a thousand gems, a thousand crystals per uh, 
per yeah per world. So there's a lot a lot of crystals that they give out for free to play unit uh, players. Uh, make sure to you know try not to spend all of them. Try to save up uh, for the future. And with that said, guys, thanks all for watching. Talk to you guys next video. Until then, peace.